Hey everyone, Zach here. It has been a while. We are working hard to bring you season two of the online podcast, so stay tuned for episodes dropping soon. In the meantime, we thought you might enjoy this short interview that aired on the Colorado Howl radio show produced by KDUR Durango. It features WLA's programs director, Hallie Mahwald, who is on the Colorado Parks and Wildlife Stakeholder Advisory Group, or SAG, for the reintroduction and management of wolves in Colorado. So in 2020, Coloradans voted to reintroduce wolves to the western half of the state. As you'll hear in this short segment, Hallie's working to ensure that landowners, producers, and land managers have a seat at the table in this critical process. And she's making sure that they have the tools and resources available to share the landscape with wolves, which are already dispersing into North Park from Wyoming. Let's roll the tape. The planning process for the gray wolf's return to Colorado is well underway, with the stakeholder advisory group taking the lead on the thorny issues of compensation for livestock losses to wolves and conflict reduction techniques. The stakeholder advisory group recently issued its unanimous recommendations to Colorado Parks and Wildlife on conflict mitigation, outlining a broad strategy of funding, collaboration, education, and training. I'm Raymond Tony. And this is the Colorado Howl. Hallie Mawold currently serves as Programs Director for the Western Landowners Alliance, which advances policies and practices that sustain working lands, connected landscapes, and native species. She also serves on the advisory board of Colorado State University's Center for Collaborative Conservation. She also is a member of the Stakeholder Advisory Group advising Colorado Parks and Wildlife on wolf reintroduction. Hallie spoke with the Colorado How about the Stakeholder Advisory Group's recent recommendations on conflict mitigation. We had been talking about conflict potential with livestock for a number of months. We were able to successfully put forward some recommendations around compensation, which is another really key part to conflict reduction. And then um, I led a subcommittee kind of outside of the general stakeholder advisory group meetings. And we had great participation in that from other stakeholder advisory group meeting uh, members um, to talk about conflict minimization. And we had talked about it in the main stakeholder advisory group kind of broadly. But what we wanted to do was really be able to put together a set of more specific, broader recommendations and strong recommendations because Every time it came up, it seemed like it was an area where there was more consensus from stakeholder advisory group members. And so I was glad to see um, there's a few points, I guess, that I'm excited about that are in these recommendations. And that's that it really did focus a lot on the importance of it being led by landowners, involving producers, the importance of being able to adapt these tools to specific landscapes, to specific operations, the value of using these tools kind of, you know, on both private and public land and looking at kind of how do we use these tools across these ownership boundaries? How do we really build robust funding for a conflict minimization program. When we're talking about wolves, we're really talking about another level with these conflict minimization tools. They require a tremendous amount of time, of energy. The tools are really effective if you're able to really think about them and adapt them. It's not really a situation where you have a silver bullet. How those tools are used is a really important aspect of it. And so one thing that I think we were really able to to come around as a stakeholder advisory group is the realization that this is a program that's going to need funding. It's going to need capacity from Colorado Parks and Wildlife, from wildlife services, from nonprofit partners. And it's really going to have to be focused on bringing a robust program forward and then, you know, asking producers to voluntarily participate in it. We're saying, let's build a program and let's, you know, let's let folks know about it and let's, you know, ask them to participate. We should not understate the many challenges livestock producers face when operating in gray wolf country. While conflict mitigation techniques exist and are evolving through experimentation, there is no simple solution for producers. As Hallie Maywald emphasizes, local community-based efforts will be essential to conflict reduction and coexistence. 
what works the best is really to work with people on a community level. And that's true for actually like the effectiveness of these tools as well. They, they work better on a community scale. And in my conversations in with folks in Colorado, they're not interested in, you know, hazing wolves onto their neighbor's property. They're interested in figuring out how as a community can we work together to implement things like carcass management, like range riding, like, you know, fencing, those kind of things. Um, so I'd say we're having those conversations, but what's important from my perspective is, you know, how do we work with local groups that are already on the ground? Like what are their capacity needs? What are their resource needs to be able to kind of host their own meetings? And then WA can be, you know, can be helpful in saying, well, do you want some producers to come down from the Northern Rockies? If so, you know, what does your landscape look like? And is it someone from, from Wyoming, from Montana, what kind of operations to be able to really kind of tailor it to that community's needs? This has been the Colorado Howl. To learn more about the Western Landowners Alliance, please visit westernlandowners.org. To hear this and other episodes, visit thecoloradohowl.org. See you next time. Thanks to Colorado Howl producer and host Raymond Tony for letting us share this episode. You can find more episodes of The Colorado How at the link in our show notes. Are you a rancher or land steward that deals with wolf, grizzly bear, or elk conflict? If so, you should check out our monthly practitioners call hosted by the Working Wild Challenge. This call is a group of multitasking ranchers dealing with wildlife conflict that meet over lunch on Zoom on the first Tuesday of each month. If you're a land steward and would like to join the conversation, visit our show notes at onland.link forward slash pod. All right, that's all for now. Stay tuned for more episodes of On Land coming to your feed soon. Cheers.